Hey everybody, we're back. I have our blonde ale that we did in the last episode with all the parts and pieces. We've actually got some kegs now. Um, got a uh, nice it's used uh, five gallon 20 keg. I've already replaced all the seals. It's got star sand in it. I'm letting it soak. It's being washed. We washed it with uh, our cleaner that we use for all of our stuff. It's a Be Bright cleanser, works really good. Um, looks like our beer is finished fermenting. We've got about, come in about four gallons. It's a little low, but it'll be okay. It'll fill, fill it up a little ways. I'll still have a lot of head space on it. Got all my uh, parts and pieces. I've got our auto siphon, our hydrometer and stuff. All soaking in some uh, star sand over here. This is full. This is about half full of star sand as well. Got this neat little thing we're going to put on the bucket here in just a little bit. Keeps your auto siphon in. It was on Thingiverse. Printed it on a 3D printer. It's amazing. Keeps it out of the tub at the bottom. All right. So we're going to get ready. We're going to pop the top on this in just a second. I'm going to dump all the star sand in my cleansing bucket and uh, get it ready. I've got another bowl over here full of star sand that will uh, keep our parts in while we're getting it ready. There. Let's see if we can make a mess. And we'll leave the foam in it. They always say don't fear the foam when it comes to star sand, and that's some pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's pop the top on this. These things are really fun to get off. I'm gonna have to put it on the floor to get it off. I'm going to be real careful with it so I don't make a mess. Come off there. Last little bit. Alright, we're going to put this back up here on the counter. Being real gentle with it. It's a real pretty, oh it smells great too. So I'm going to dunk this little piece in some star sand just because I don't want anything wild to get in there. Hopefully I have enough hose to reach the bottom of this keg. Oh yeah. If not, we'll raise it up a little bit. This keeps it at a neat angle so it just flows right in. Looks like we're right on the bottom. So we'll give it a couple of tugs. And there she goes. Now we just wait till it fills up. That's it. Oh, it looks look at it real nice and clear. So we didn't secondary this batch, we did primary only. I've read a few things on the internet, watched a few videos of some other folks, and primary seems to be good enough. I'm happy with it. Uh, we'll get a final gravity here in just a little bit. Hopefully it come out really good. While we're waiting, we're gonna try one that I did earlier in the month. It's a uh, mosaic. I tried one earlier, came out really good. Posted the uh, pictures on uh, Instagram. Do a pour right here. Kind of bigger, so it has to be lots of carbonation. It's 
more of a citrus, the smell of it. Oh, so you can see that it came out it's really nice yellow mosaic color. Let's check our level here. Nice thing about this little gadget is you can adjust it. Actually push your auto siphon down a little bit further. And we still have half of this to go. It's a nice steady flow. I'm not going to get it in a big hurry. This has a lot of carbonation. You're holding its head retention really well. It's really good though. So we're about halfway with our keg. I'm going to tip this just a little bit because we're getting close to the bottom. We've got about a gallon left. I'm going to try to get as much as we can. Nice yeast cake in the bottom of it. I can get this right down to the edge of the yeast and get as much out as I can. So we're going to grab some samples. I'm going to drop this in the be able to break it. Spin. Here's our lid. It's been soaking in some star sand. I have my hands all in it. It's got new O-rings. Uh, picked these up from Austin Homebrew. Um, great shop. Central Texas located. We're done. We're going to go put some CO2 on it and uh, put it in the kegerator. That's it. So there we go. Got four and a half gallons of blonde ale. We're going to try that little sample here in a minute to see how it tastes. It came out at about 10, 10 it looks like. Uh, we'll let it set to about 10, 12. So I'll do the calculation. So we're going to use Beersmith. Got it here on my phone. We're going to use it to calculate our ABV. Percentage. We started out at 10.52 and we ended up at 10.12. And looks like we have a alcohol content of 5.2%. Not bad. 5.2 beer. So I've got our sheet that has all of our original gravities on it. So our original gravity was a 1052, and it came out at a 1012. Put us at 5.2% alcohol, not bad. I'm letting that set over here. Get a, it's close to room temperature already. So we'll go put this out in the kegerator that we're working on. We've already got it started to chill off. Put some CO2 on it so we can, we can purge all the uh, 
the oxygen out of it. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, I've got our CO2 tank right here. Gas fitting. Just got a length of uh, gas hose. And we're going to put it in on the inside. This is where your CO2 goes. Check it for some leaks. These are ball lock kegs, so they're super simple. We're going to turn our gas on. I'm not putting much in it right now, I just want to purge the O2 out of it. Oxygen oxidates your beer, so we're going to do this about three times. I can hear the gas flowing into here, coming through my regulator. I've only got it set for about nine pounds, so it's just filling up, getting rid of the oxygen. Do it one more time to be safe. I'm just waiting until I hear the gas stop flowing. And we got it all that time. Let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna take my star sand and I'm gonna check it for some leaks. Just gently spray it around. Mainly looking for the main gasket to see if it's leaking. So we've got gas on this now. We're going to get it ready to put in uh, refrigeration so we get it chilled so it'll absorb more CO2 and uh, get ready to enjoy it. In the meantime we're going to enjoy our mosaic that we did in a little one gallon batch and uh, clean up our mess. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next brew.